Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe Whiskey Barrel Aged Cherry Stout from Bells is the one for you. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. And... Roll it. Oh, a little roll. So today we are going to try the cherry stout, but in whiskey barrels. Um, I have had the regular cherry stout. Did, have you had it? Did we mix it with chocolate for our candy pairing? No, we didn't. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to believe that I've tried it at one point in my... Do you want a little? Yep, that's fine. I'm good. Just there we go. Just a yes. Whoa, more than a taste. Um, so this is a 9.3% ABV. Not sure about the IBUs because they are not on the bottle or on untapped. Shelf life is unlimited, so you can keep this as long as you want. What it. What'd you say the the ABV was? 9.3. Okay. 9.3 is on the bottle. Yeah. Um, package date was 12-5-2017. So a little over a month old. Um, uh, I do know because last year uh, Jessica likes pool time. So we went and got pool time. And that's kind of the time when they start when the Michigan cherries are ready. And from talking to one of the workers there... Um, they use Traverse City cherries and all their stuff. I believe what he said is all the cherries they get in, they split between cherry stout and pull time, and then there's none left. Right. Um, so we'll see. So this is aged in whiskey barrels up to 12 months. Um, notes of oak, vanilla, and dark chocolate. That's why I was going to try it. I read the label. Yeah. It changed my mind. No head. Um, typical, I guess, of a barrel-aged beer. I don't know if it has something to do with the alcohol or the sweetness coming out or the oak or whatever, but no head. It's some we, bubbles coming up. Do you have bubbles coming up? No. I have some on the sides. Uh -uh. You don't have any? Not I do. Not that I can see. Um, it is dark in this glass. No hue. Pitch black. I uh, smell it. It looks thin. Um, just as you were talking about the, the general store, this was expensive. Yeah, six bucks. Compared to like six bucks for a big can of beer that I just bought yeah. a couple weeks ago. So it's because it's aged? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's go ahead for a smell. Oh, oh. I have to believe that this is what people drink when they, the night before they wake up so, so incredibly hungover. I, oh Like my. a good chocolate kind of whiskey oak. I'm not really getting a lot of cherry out of it. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I'm not getting any chocolate. I'm getting straight up whiskey. No, I'm getting. Whoa. Yeah, the uh, a good chocolate kind of roasted whiskey. Let me smell that. <sighs> I think she's done doing stouts. It smells toxic. <laughs> it is a good smell. Um, I <laughs> wish there was more cherry um, flavor or smell coming out there. It is like... Man. Yeah, I really don't get any fruit. I To me, that whiskey oak pretty much takes over everything in there. Like everything. I do there I do a, like the chocolate smell, though. I'm not getting... Like behind... No. Don't you get all pissy. It... Like that Yours is... Yours smells a little bit like whiskey, but you also got like a sip. It's very strong, very yeah. potent. I'm not, I really wanted to smell some chocolate or vanilla or. You want me to pour some of mine no, in there? No, <laughs> no, no. Okay, let's go ahead and drink. Oh, boy. Oh, 
going now get out of here. Mm -hmm. That doesn't even taste bad. <laughs> I need a, a close pin for my nose. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, you're really... Ooh. Except for... Okay, stop. I don't like the smoky taste in my mouth. Well, it's probably the burnt oak. I don't like that. It's... This is good. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna say... That it's like reminiscent of what, like if I smoked, that's like what my it's mouth tastes like. It's like a charcoal. Like. <laughs> it's from the burnt barrel. I know. I'm just saying, but oh. I, I have a smoky. That is that is good. Smooth. I I, I like the. I'm getting the chocolate, a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of oak, some whiskey. But the thing that surprised me, it's like a tart cherry. I think it's a nice yeah. cherry chocolate mixture. Yeah. Like the taste, I don't even taste the whiskey. I, I can taste it in the back. I don't like even not taste burning. it. Like this could really get me in trouble. Well, it won't because you have one. <laughs> I can go buy more. <laughs> it's about 15 minutes away. <laughs> I'm at the drag of there. It's, um... And see, I'm not getting that. I'm not getting any whiskey, well, any alcohol. Taste mine. Since but it's good. Just... That's it's um very nice, smooth. You know, this would be good if we paired it with some dark yeah, chocolate. The okay, then yeah. have yours back. You got more. You know, like a dessert, yeah. like with some dark chocolate, which I'm. I mean, it would bring out the dark chocolate notes, but you're not even really getting the bitterness. No, from, not at all. You know, like the roasted malts or the dark chocolate. The, the back mm. is where I get, like, all the cherry. Like, it goes in stages for me. It's like that chocolate, roasted malt kind of oakiness. Then into that tart cherry. I take that back. Like, when I first drink it, I get whiskey-ish. But then that flavor is completely gone. Completely gone. Maybe some <laughs> vanilla. And then after, after that initial whiskey, it disappears. Then it's just like a chocolate cherry. Like, it tastes like the cherry stout. Yeah. That I had that some, at some point because I know this taste. Well, and see, with the regular chocolate or the regular cherry stout, I put that in my chili. Yeah. But that's not what I have I taste. <laughs> my God. Cut off. But it's, you ate my um, chili. Oh. Um, when I, that's a whole different episode. Um, but this is really, really good. Very smooth. It's not heavy. It is, mm -mm. it's almost like a pop consistency. Oh. Like, I've got some, like, bubbles I wouldn't in be, there. I wouldn't say that. Mm. It's almost, I would say it's more porter. I think their, robu their robust porter has more, um... Maybe like a Baltic porter, more along those lines than anything. Okay, but I'm done now. <laughs> it's gone. I don't want any more though. Like, uh, no alcohol. No. I think I would enjoy this more if I didn't drink it out of a glass yeah, and I, I had think, it out of a bottle. I, th I think I'm starting to get more vanilla. I don't have any more to tell you. You it, liked it. It was good, but but I feel like that was enough. Would you buy another one? To drink out of the bottle, yes. Okay. I wouldn't drink it. I, I don't want to. There are just some of these beers that I've had in the last couple of years that when I do these with you, I would rather not ever smell them again, but I'll taste, I would drink it again. Okay. Um, I just don't. That initial smell, just bleh. And... I just didn't, I didn't want to drink it, yeah. but I did, and I'm glad I did. <laughs> I, I, I enjoyed it, and I think that, yeah, I would get a couple more. Well, if the shelf life. Yeah. We can get a couple of them. I think this would age well. Have for Valentine's Day and then save one for your birthday? Yeah. I don't yep. know. What I would guess. you give this out of five? I would say I have two. So maybe you have to take an average Mr. Math. <laughs> but for... For the smell is like two. Yeah. I just I can't do it. But the taste is like a 4.25. Okay. Like, it, that is good. I'm pleasantly yeah. surprised. I would go I like with a 4.5. Mm. I think it's good. I think 
if anything, I would like the body to be thicker. I you was know, expecting like, that too. Like a yeah. stout. Mm. Um, but other than that, I I think it's very good. Definitely one to pick Ooh, yeah. up and try. Now, what would have been fun is if we had the cherry stout and then did this just to see what it is. So I can we can still do it. <laughs> I mean, we can do anything. We could do anything, right? Just fifteen minutes down the road, we could do. Yep. But I think that this is good, and I, tr truthfully, I'm I'm not being like sarcastic with my pairings, but I think it'd be good to have dark chocolate. Well, I would I, yeah. I would drink it, just eat some dark out, chocolate. Yeah. Because it, bring I think it would just more work of that bitterness. Work well together. Cool. So that'll wrap it up for this beer review. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also, head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.